Bodine 52, how are you folks? You know, Harley Davidson motorcycles are expensive, and we all know that it doesn't stop when you buy the motorcycle. But when we buy stuff for them, sometimes it's a combination of Harley stuff, like those floorboards, or aftermarket stuff like highway pegs, a windshield. But sometimes we get Harley gloves. It's easy to complain because it's expensive. But do we deserve the right if we're not going to do something about it? So if you own a new Harley Davidson motorcycle, or quite frankly, even maybe even a used one, you know that's going to cost you some cash. Now, let's just talk about new motorcycles first and, and, and really focus on those. I have a 2021 Road Glide Limited, and when I bought this motorcycle, I knew that how much money I paid for it was just the start. I knew it. I knew it. I knew better. I knew that that chunk of money, these bikes are expensive, was um, was just the start, right? America. Um, and, and I, by the way, you may be saying, well, dude, buy a used bike. And I do have a used bike. I have a 2000 Road King Classic as well. So I have a new one and a used one. And uh, that's really not what this video is about. But um, I, I knew it. I, I definitely knew it. I also realize that um, if I want to make any modifications to the motorcycle um, with the motor or anything else like that, that I am going to have to buy Harley stuff, right? And it may not be exactly what I want when it comes to what's out there on the aftermarket. But from a warranty perspective, guess what? I got to put that stuff on if that's what I want to do, right? So if we look at this bike right now, uh, I have a combination of things. I have the floorboards, which you saw. Uh, I paid, I don't know, 99 bucks for those. Uh, split vision mirrors that I paid 139 bucks for a couple of years ago. By the way, worth every single dime. Love these things. Um, but yet, I have Karyakin, uh highway pegs. Um, you know, I have a aftermarket windshield. You know, I have a combination of those things. But I have them on because I like them and I think they're better. Now, let's talk about Harley quality. Uh, in my opinion, like anything, like these gloves. These simple gloves that I could have probably paid 39 bucks for, right? I've had a few years now, okay? And I paid more money than I should for these gloves. And I love them. Now, I have other pairs of gloves, ones that are, quite frankly, safer, um, that I love. But I paid to get, in this product, Harley quality, right? So, you know, when it comes to aftermarket stuff, there's a ton of stuff out there. And most of us go get that stuff, when, especially when we can. But there are times we buy Harley stuff. Now, for me, it's because I think a lot of their um, gear, clothing, parts are quality stuff. So I, I'm going to pay a little extra money to drive a Cadillac, if you will. Maybe 10%, but that's about it, right? So if, if I find mares that I like that are from Harley and they're 139 and I find another pair that are 129 yep, I'm probably going to buy the Harley ones, right? Um and I know there's a lot of places out there. I'd love for you guys to tell me about that. Uh, places that uh, you know you can get Harley stuff. House of Harley is a uh, is a place that you can order a lot of Harley gear. Hell, you can go on Amazon and get some stuff, right? Um, but at the end of the day, you know that it's going to cost you money. You know it, right? So I was watching... Um, a channel the other day, a guy that I follow, goes by Jarhead Six Rides, I believe is what it is. I'm going to put it right here, just in case I missed that. Also, put a link to his channel in the description. And um, what got me thinking about this was I was watching one of his videos, and he was talking more specifically about, um, you know, hey Harley, your stuff's expensive. You know, 
stop that. You can stop that. It'll probably help you out, right? And uh, he was showing uh, shirts that were like 85 bucks, and he was showing a uh, uh, pair of pants that I, I'm sure were good riding pants that were like 750 something ridiculous. And again, I'll, I'll link that video in there. Kind of talked about how he can go up to the store and get a pair of pants for like 50 bucks or something like that. Totally right. And it, and it kind of made me think uh, to talk about this video. So if, you're, if you follow anybody, and whether, again, you have a Harley or not, people rip Harley about pricing. No doubt. And, and maybe that, you know what, that's, that's fair, right? We all have the right to have our opinion and complain about stuff if we want to, right? In, in our country, America, that's one of your rights. And uh, by the way, thank you for the folks that have served our great country that give us that option uh, or that freedom, I should say. And other countries, I know the follow the channel, are, are the same way. Everybody can have their own opinion, right? Everybody can, can complain. Um, and whether you're uh, a negative person in general or it just agitates you and you're a positive person and every now and then you let it go, hey, I get that, right? I, I get a little frustrated with that as well. Um, and I get frustrated with stuff that I'm like, wow, that's 90 bucks. What? That's crazy. I can get that for a lesser price. So I kind of go do it. But if you follow, you know, whether it's a forum, and I try to stay out of those things, but, you know, YouTubers or anybody else, they will at times talk about the price of all the Harley stuff. And I would say complain about it. And you know what? That's their right. And I'm, I'm not ditching anybody, right? Because obviously I follow their channels or I wouldn't have watched those videos, right? But we could all go on a, a tirade about Harley stuff. Harley cost. How ridiculous it is. Why all this traffic is out when I'm trying to ride. I mean, a lot of stuff that we can ultimately complain about, right? But if we're not going to do something different about it, do we do we have the right or why are we complaining? And my point and simple thought process is this. If you own a Harley and you buy Harley stuff, and I'm 50-50 whether I buy Harley or something else, and you have the right to, but why are you bitching and moaning about it? Do something about it. Go to House of Harley. Go to an aftermarket place. Go buy that stuff. And maybe you do that, right? And you may be going, dude, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't do that. And that's cool. I know most people don't do that. You know, I, I, I tie it to this. And I've never tried to get political on my channel. It's kind of like the government and voting. If you don't like the party that is currently in office... Go vote them out. Go vote them out. Thank you. How are you? And that guy just scared the living shit out of me. Oops, I should probably beep that out, right? <laughs> guy on a trike just pulled up behind me and just said... Uh, Said, I, I don't know if you could catch it or not. He's like, hey, I love the brake lights. He's, uh, so I got custom dynamics on the back of the, this bike, if you don't know. But going back to, if you're not going to do something different about it, quit bitching about it. My son, perfect example. Last year, great kid. You know, his generation's really into the government, what they're doing, you know, what they're doing well, what they're not doing well, our, 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 uh, our rights, which I'm a, a big proponent of as well but we were talking last time the the presidency uh election was out he's like yeah i don't know if i can get out there and vote um i got this to do i got this to do and i looked at him dead in the eye and he's an adult now and i said look if you don't go vote you're always welcome to come to my house but never complain about politics because you don't you have to deserve the right to complain in my opinion so I don't know. Is this a lecture? Is this just 
me ranting. I, I don't know exactly what this is, but it's really like, you know what? If you don't like it, move on. Go get something else. Do something about it. All right, folks. Hey, I would love to hear your take on that. Um, and I know your answer is going to be, I can complain about anything I want, Bodine 52. <laughs> Kiss my butt. But, you know, when you really think about it, if you don't do anything about it, should you really complain? Eh, I don't know. I'm not going to, but that's just me. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for checking in on the channel. I appreciate it. Be safe riding out there. Be vigilant. Checking a friend. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.